What's going on, guys? This is KNASTY3090 here. Welcome back to another episode of the Toronto Blue Jays franchise, episode 31. We're in year 2028, which is what, our 10th year of the franchise, or actually technically the 11th. Um, we've won the last four World Series. It took us a while to get to the world, to become a world champion. We, we haven't let it go since. Our budget's still negative, but I think we'll be fine once. I um, actually might change some of these to like per win. Let's do it, yeah, per win because we win so many games. And, uh,. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, but yeah, we are a great team. We are we are ranked number one again, like we are the last couple of years. We were a wagon. We have some great prospects. I do want to do one thing though. I always like to do this every couple episodes or every couple seasons, excuse me. Let's see how we built this team of major leaguers. I know you guys, if you want to kind of just re reminisce and see how we got players, because um, in 2028 we had a very important year. We traded for Archie Bradley, who's going to be a Hall of Famer. He's probably going to get his 500th career save this year. Luke Hudson, we drafted in the seventh round. He ended up being the MVP last year. He hit 46 home runs. Bruno Armas was our first round pick. He's on fast track to becoming a Hall of Famer, a career 302 hitter, 381 on base, 509 career slugging, an OPS of almost 900 with an elite defense, 99 fielding at center field. Very important. Uh, these guys, when they say free agents, just the way the game was put in. The next year, we drafted Delgadio, who had 99 potential. He's taking a little bit of time, but it looks like he's starting to turn a corner, perhaps. Um, in 2020, we drafted Herschel Reigns in the seventh round. He's now in the big league club. We traded for Rudy Brennan. In 2020, we also drafted Robbie Nito. He is now going to be playing our everyday first baseman this year. Also in 2020, by the way, this is 2028, just in case you want to know the years. In 2020, we drafted a closer in the eighth round, who is now in the bigs. Took him a while, but he's there. We traded for some closures in 2021. We drafted Charles Whelan in the third round. He's now um, our backup. Also traded for Rivera. And Brett Burkett we traded for in 2022. He's has been very good. A career 3-5 ERA. We also traded for Fernando Tatis and Sergio Silva. In 2023, we drafted Tom Lim in the seventh round. Well, take that back. There's not seven rounds. It's our seventh pick. He's 22. He's. I'm giving him a chance to share in the bigs. We traded for Mitch Donaldson, a closer, another closer, and a starter, and our catcher. 2024, we drafted a closer, Castillo, in the sixth, or the sixth pick, and Damian Stoddard, a, a second baseman in the first round, and we made some trades, and that's pretty much it. That's just a major league roster. We're not going to go through all the minors, because you can see a lot of it's draft picks, um, but I kind of want to do that, because it's fun to look at it. So let's get into the season. We should have an extra draft pick for letting our uh, Calzado, our second baseman, go. Yep, those guys cleared waivers. All right, I'll fix that. I'll send you to Class A. Auto fix the lamps and make sure the lamps have our best young players playing. Brooke Ka needs to play. There we go. All right, we're good get into the season i would like to break the all-time win record but right now we're six and eight <laughs> andrew stevenson for bryce wilson and dj stewart ash was interested in trade marlon copen i don't know him oh 18 overall all right 60 overall 18 years old for alonzo prado a catcher no he, he's like a backup catcher but he's making 1.5 million for trying to save money not spend money we are not having a good year so far. We're like at 500. And the Red Sox look to be pretty good, so we kind of need to pick this up. All right, now we're starting to win some more games. We're at the draft. So we have the 30th pick. Round two, we have the 26th pick. And then there's a compensatory pick for losing Calzado. All right, see so what we can do. See so if we can continue our pretty solid drafting. Let's see what's here. Some closers. Really don't need a closer or a reliever. <laughs> Anyone with a green bar with that 80 potential? Nope. All right. Um, let's see here. I might take this shortstop. He's 21. He's going to take a few years. Maybe. I don't love any of these picks. All these guys are so old. Like, is there a kid who's like, are there high school kids or high schoolers in this draft? <laughs> Serious question. Um, yeah, I'm going to take Will Millar. He's a few years away. He's 21, but it's shortstop. It's a position of need, always. 
and I don't love this draft at all. Um, 24-year-old starter who's going to take five years. Yeah, he will literally be like past his prime by the time he's ready. Um, I might look at the 75 potentials if there's anyone really good. But there's not. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll take this closer. He's 20. I, we have so many, but if he's a stud, he's a stud. And I might just take a shot in the dark with some players. I hate this draft. Um, Tom Park, yeah, let's take a chance on him. I hate doing it. This That's the extra pick for losing a stud. We couldn't have kept him, the money-wise. But, eh, let's see. Uh, Davenport, he's 22. He's a few years away. Whatever. They, I hope they fix this. There's just too many older players takes forever to become major leaguers in this. That's a problem that needs to be fixed next year. Hopefully it is. Hopefully it is. Watch this draft that I think was awful become amazing. I think it's our best draft ever. But if it is, then it shows my talent of picking players. <laughs> it's basically what it confirms that I suck at drafting. If I think this draft stinks and it becomes amazing. Alright, last pick of the draft and I will take use. All right. Yeah, it wasn't that good. Um, Will Millard's 84 potential, 49 overall, 21 years old, not that good. Ed Alexander, 73 overall. I mean, that's pretty good, 82 potentials. He's a lefty, so that's actually nice. Uh, big kid, 6'5", only 187 pounds, really needs to work on it. Go to five guys or something. Tom Park, uh, 18 years old, 62 overall. 79 potential, eh, maybe. Davenport, 76 potential. Chad Paul is 72 potential. This guy, though, Julio Dorman, has 82 potential. Eh. And uh, Valido, our last pick, has a 61. Were there any, like, A's? Steve Bullich, okay, third baseman, that's not bad. Uh, ooh, 61 potential is not good. 91 potential. 94, but he's a closer. This was not a good draft. Josh Hanks, Tom's son. Um, I mean, he's a 54 overall. He's 22 years old. He's going to take five years, and he's an only a 93 potential. Not a great... I mean, depending on how high that draft pick was. Not a strong draft. Yeah, there were not many A's. Weak year for the draft. Where are we ranked? Standing We're actually third place right now. I bet you it's our pitching that's been bad. Hashimoto's been good, Castillo's been good, Burkett's been good, Reigns has been okay, Lim has been really good, um, Bullpen has been pretty lousy, actually. And the guys in the minors, like, tearing it up? Not really. I'll give him time. Bruno, not having a good year for Bruno, 262 average, does have 10 bombs. Rudy Brennan, 308, 10 home runs. That's really good. Vlad, 19 home runs already. He hit his 400th. Fernando Tatis, 13 home runs, 268. Hudson, 14 bombs. Silvis in 338 at second base. That's really good. Nidos in 315 with 13 home runs. Gets on base too. 400 on base. Delgadio, 247 average, only six bombs. He's improving though. That's nice. Herring's in a buck 62. Yeah, that's not good. Stoddard in 25 at bats is in 480 off the bench. <laughs> it's not sustainable, but it's just funny. All right, let's get some wins, boys. The bullpen's playing like crap, but they're so high overall. I expect them to turn around. Thomas Nito got traded for DL Hall and Julio Pablo Martinez. All right, we're starting to win some games now. As we lost like six in a row. Okay, interesting. We might have to do... I mean, I'm not sure at the trade deadline. Maybe we move on some more expensive relievers who are struggling. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Matt Festa. That's a name familiar. For Rex Stamper and Napoleon Burden. Armenteros for Garcia and Mejia. All right. Oh, I wanted to look at the offer. I canceled out by accident. I want to take a look at the all-star teams. We probably had several who made it, but probably not many... Oops. Probably not many uh, relievers. Uh, Sean Reed Foley's had a really good career ever since he left. He went to Cleveland. He's had a couple really good years. Um, Tanner, ooh, from a Red Sox, a current Red Sox prospect, still in the Red Sox. Tanner Houck. So we had no starters. 
I'll look at the National League in a second. Reliever, Alcantara, and closers. Do we have any? Mitch Donaldson. He's had a very good year. Catchers, Reese McGuire made it. Former Blue Jay. Hitting 340. Jeez. And Danny Jensen. I don't, I don't think he was with us on this. Elite fielder. First base, we had no one. Second base, nobody. Third base was Vlad. 27 home runs. Fernando Tatis at short. Bo Bichette. Man, Indians have had some former uh, Blue Jays. Rudy Brennan, Luke Hudson, both made the All-Star game. And Bruno. How's Trout doing? He's an 84 overall now. Does have 629 career home runs, though. <laughs> His career war is 149, which I believe would put him ahead of everyone. All right, let's take a look at the National League. Any uh, familiar names that we've traded? I don't think we had Jake Room in this franchise, no. Um, no one there. No one here. Abraham Aaron, that's an interesting name. Doesn't look like we had any. Oh, Eloy. There we go. Okay. Um, standings were a half game behind the Red Sox still. We are winning the wild card pretty comfortably. I'm going to move up limb. Yeah, range has been pretty meh. Oh, David Bowers in the minors? Shoot, I forgot it. I didn't even realize that. Let's call him up. Horrors has been good. Let's do this. Um, Reigns to AAA. Ramirez to AAA. He'll clear waivers. They always do. And then let's call up Bowers. Up. The reason why I missed him because he's so pissed off. He's in the minors. And then I want to call up... Horrors has been great. So I'm going to put Bauer in. And Horrors is our long man. There we go. Cleared waivers, they always do. <laughs> Tookie Toursant for Byron Ray and Corey Ray. Alright, we're at the trade deadline. We're at tie with the Red Sox. Um, what I want to look is like any of these guys who are kind of like Brian Yee. He's only making four hundred thousand. Bourbon's making three million. He's been asked this year, but he's been good in the prior years. But he's only pitched twenty innings. And Bauer and his one start struggled, but that's fine. Um, I think we're fine. Brewers interested in trade Harry Rodriguez, one of our thousand relievers, for Nick Rackett, who is a starter. Was a C potential? I don't need you. Do not need that. All right, we play Boston right now, and we won two out of three. That'd be really odd if we like actually are the wild card team. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think this team's a wagon. All right, we're facing the Red Sox. They are actually ahead of us by three and a half games. We're easily gonna win a pure wild card team. So we play the Red Sox three on the road, and this is the last time we face them. And we got swept. We're going to be a wild card team, barring an unforeseen collapse by the Red Sox. Yeah, we're the wild card team. I mean, they were great this year. Their run differentials not as good as ours, but still very good. It wasn't a fluke. Wow. We won 96 games in World Wild Card Team. They won 100. Wow. All right. Um, so we're going to have to face the Royals in the wild card game. Interesting. And yeah, we scored 805. Our run difference is probably the best in the majors, which is the, like for the course of the full year, usually the best teams have the best run differential. But theirs wasn't bad. Like they gave up 13 more runs, they scored 40 less. But uh, let's take a look at how the team did. Hashimoto had a really good year. A 305 ERA. Right? That's his best year since coming over to the American League. Castilla had a very good solid year, 347 ERA. Burkett, 334. Tom Lim, a 344, and he pitched a bunch of innings. Might get rookie of the year. Bauer did really well once he came up. I feel like I screwed that up. I didn't even see him down the minors because he was so upset. Jeez. Horace did great as the long man. 
bullpen definitely stepped down now. Uh, Archie Bradley is starting to decline. It's, I mean, you knew it was going to happen. Just have over 500 career saves, so that's nice. Bruno, 290 average, only 18 home runs, still 30 backs, which are like almost career lows. And I take that back two years ago, he had a worse year. So he's And he's starting to decline. He's now only a 97 overall. His war was almost cut in half. He's still a stud. Rudy, 281 average, 31 home runs. Potential's going down, but still had a great year. Vlad, 271, 44 home runs. Average was down, but the power was still legit. He's hit over 40 home runs every year, except in 2024, he hit 39. But then he hit 50, 40. Yeah, so he's been consistently a stud. Tatis, 286, 34 home runs. His best year at shortstop with his elite fielding. He might be MVP. Hudson, 36 home runs, 272 average. Another very good year. Silva hit 308. 13 bombs, still 18 bags. At second base, he got on base. He got on base, excuse me, as well. A 375 on base percentage of 438 slugging. Not too, too high for slugging, but like I said, second baseman. Nito hit 291 with 27 home runs. I'm going to move him up. Um, wow, 27 home runs. I'm pleasantly surprised he did that. Four, at 374 on base. Very good year. Delgadio kind of regressed. To back to what he was before. 245 average. His potential and overall went up, though, so that's nice. I mean, with his elite fielding, there's always value there. And Herring did really struggle this year. Wow. He might need a new catcher moving forward. And I want to make sure uh, Nito moves up. There we go. Take a look at top prospects. We have the number two, who we got in a trade, Lockwood, who I don't really, I don't know. We'll see. Tatis isn't going anywhere. Reyes, another starter. Um, Boggs is only 19. Gonzalez, another guy we got in a trade. He's at 11. Ricky Gein. His potential went down, but his overall in Increases at 13. Where is Julio Ramirez? Another guy we got. He's at 17. There's Ka. He's gotten more intrigued by. He had a very good year. He improved quite a bit. Uh, another closer at 22. Machias or Machias. He moved up. He is at 28. Rado and Valdez. Wow. Now Rado's 26. I'm not too high on him. The thing is, though, this draft class was so weak that it's not going to improve. Uh, not going to add a lot of players on the list. We got MVP again. Uh, Ken Barisi, who I think was... Uh, I thought I remember him a free agent like a year or two ago. Yeah, two years ago. Bangtown went to Bo Bichette. Lopez, reliever of the year. Had an amazing year. Holy cow. He's been amazing. Look at the ERAs through the last four years. 0. 0.45, 118, and 114. A 349 ERA, but still, that guy's been amazing. Uh, rookie of the year, I'm going to say he's 31. He's 29. And he's 29. That's stupid. Gold gloves. Red Sox got a, like all of them. How's Nolan Gorman? Really good. Tatis at short. Bruno in the outfield. Silver Slugger, we got a DH. Probably at third. Probably at, no, not at short. Probably one or two in the outfield. One in the outfield. All right. Um, anyone? Colwyn. I know him. Do we have Josh Neal in this franchise? We did. He got gold glove. He got gold glove? Oh, interesting. Tay Oscar. He's had a very good career. A very good career. All right. So, next episode will be the playoffs. We might lose in the wild card game. If we win the wild card game, we face the Red Sox. We have to face the Royals, who won how many games? 85. This is going to be... They had a negative run differential. That won't be a problem. <laughs> I mean, it's a one game. Anything can happen, but I like our chances. I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.